All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, put the resolution hack and the menu hack on your FLIR E4 without using the FLIR net tools and having to zip everything. And we're going to do everything over the RNDIS and uh, FileZilla. So first of all, you're going to need all the files that had the beta 3 um, zip file. You're going to need 7-zip. You're going to go 7-zip and then extract to this. And uh, you'll get this file, then extract this one too. Just right click it, 7-zip, extract to. Alright, so then we're going to open up FileZilla. And I already have this set up from before. And again, you're going to you're going to want to go on your camera. And you're going to want to click the center button. And then go hit click settings to device settings uh, towards the bottom. Then go to the bottom again and hit camera information. And after that, hold the right button down for 10 seconds. And again, just to let you know, this only works for 1.19.8 and lower. If you have 1.21, this will not work. Um, there isn't a, it just came out, so there isn't a hack for it. There might not ever be either. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. But after that, once you've been holding it down, it'll, the USB mode will show up. Just click USB mode, and then RNDIS, and then just click on that. And you should be good to go to go into FileZilla. Right, so in FileZilla, you'll want to go into the host and type in 192.168.0.2, and then FLIR as the username, F-L-I-R, and then 3VLIG as the password. And I'll type this out for you like that and that's what you put in the password and then you just hit connect um, all right yeah that shouldn't that should shouldn't show up for you cuz I guess I got disconnected when I did something and then for the first part we're gonna apply the um, resolution hack We're gonna, okay, for this we have to actually first do the go to the Easy CRC. So you're gonna go to the Easy CRC and open it up. And then just type in your serial number, whatever it is, and then hit enter. I already have mine made from before, so just hit, type your serial number in there. You can get that under camera information or on the. It's probably the most accurate under camera information, or you can get it from the box. But enter that, then hit enter, and then it'll say something. You hit enter again, and it'll close out. Now what that does is it creates, this will not be on there for you, um, it will create these two files. This is all we need for now. So we're going to go under here and we're going to find that directory under our computer, on the, which is on the left side, under flash fs, zip my, this is your main folder, then zip my contents, the flash fs system, appcore.d, and config.d and here's the file right here that you need it'll be under this area then we're gonna go to flash fs system um, appcore.d config.d and then see I already have the e8.cfg file but yours shouldn't have that so you're just gonna take this and drag it into the config.d file or into here and then it, this will show up for me because I already have the file, but it shouldn't show up for you. And just do that. And now this applies the resolution hack. And then now to apply the menu hack, all you have to do is go to your menu, um, the folder that you extracted, the flash BFS. Now we're going to go up to the system under flash BFS, not flash FS. So we're going to close that out. Flash BFS and system here. And then sorry, actually. We're gonna copy the system from this one. Not in do not copy it into here, otherwise it'll put the system folder from the computer into the another system folder. We want to put it into flash BFS so it overwrites the original system folder. And then just this will pop up and then just click here so then it doesn't um or so it does overwrite all of them and it doesn't just keep on popping up. So now that that's done, 
you just apply the menu hack and all you have to do is turn off your camera unplug the USB cable take out the battery and now you have uh, E4 to an E8 plus with your menu hack and resolution hack and then also after that if you want to apply your own custom logo or information all you have to do is take your logo go into paint.net or some other image um, editing software and make it into a 320 by 240 picture and then you're gonna go under flash BFS I believe it is system I believe it's just system yeah I never changed the boot logo BMP but um, the one I changed is boot logo underscore legal BMP uh, that's a bitmap um, just save it I did 24 bit it probably doesn't matter just make sure you save the same name and then just overwrite this one and then after that it'll whenever you do a cold boot so I believe it's after 20 minutes or when you take the battery out whenever you turn it on that new logo will come up and uh, if it ever gets lost or stolen you can see who owns it or or if you're on a job or something you know it's kind of cool thing to have but other than that now you should be good to go with your new camera